Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Veronica and I'm back with another pick a card reading for you. Yay! So we're going to find out today who is your soulmate. This reading was highly requested, so I hope you guys like it. We will find out what are their zodiac signs and also we will check what initials they can have. So make sure to stay till the end of your reading to find out the zodiac sign and the initials. Just wanted to say thank you so much to all the new subscribers and all of you that are supporting my channel. It really, really means a lot to me. This channel has been growing so fast lately and I'm also getting so many private readings and I see a lot of you hanging out with us on Twitch when I go live guys twice a week doing tarot every Thursday and every Sunday so if you want to hang out with me live on stream meet many like-minded people the link is in the description box and all of it is for free you just have to create an account so let's go to the court selection and I will see you in your reading. All right, guys. So what I want you to do is to choose one pile that you feel the most drawn to. Group number one, two, three, and four. So choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to or the quote that you're feeling the most drawn to. Think about the question of today's reading, which is who is my soulmate? Take your time to meditate. I will give you 30 seconds to meditate and really connect with your intuition. So focus on your breath and ask repeatedly in your head or out loud, however you want, who is my soulmate? Ask your spirit guides to help you to choose the pile. Once you feel like you're ready, click on the timestamp and I will see you in your reading. Hi group number one, let's find out who is your soulmate. You guys chose this card, the presence of love will always cast out fear. Let's see what else we have here. All right guys, so your soulmate, there is a lot of fire energy here. So I got six of wands and also nine of wands. So I think your person that is your soulmate is someone that is very popular. I always get it with a six of wands. This gives me the vibes that your person is just really popular. Um, they're very confident. I feel like they are very accomplished already or they will be, you know, very accomplished once you meet them. Their family really like boast about them because they are very proud of them. They are proud of their achievements. Um, I feel like this person is so confident and as I was saying accomplished as well, but they don't give me vibes um, of someone that is really cocky. It's just I feel like they're very hardworking and uh, if they set the, the, their goals, they're willing to achieve it. They have a really great public recognition. Uh, they're very optimistic in whatever they're doing and they're always willing to take the risk. I feel like your person is really not afraid of taking a risk. I, uh, we, also get, uh, we also got the card sacrifice. So I definitely see that your person is like willing to sacrifice a lot of things in their life to get to the point where they want to be. But I think they are really smart about it. So I don't think um, they make decisions that quickly. I feel like they are weighing their pros and cons before deciding. They in general have a really great reputation. I feel like they have really strong will as well and that they brighten other people's day. And I feel like guys, it's just really n never boring with them. I feel like you will never be bored around them. So Knight of Wands, it's someone that is very protective of uh, the ones that they love, of their family. They have a really, really huge potential and I feel like they are very patient. And um, 
they might be moving a little bit slower in their career or the goals that they're setting. However, they are really patient and I feel like, you know, nine of wands people, they get where they want to get because of their patience, because of their resistance. This is someone with unlimited potential to achieve their dreams and their goals. This is a person that will just never give up, that is, as I was saying, is willing to sacrifice uh, different things in order to succeed. But as I was saying, they're not silly, okay? They are planning, they're planning everything ahead, so it's not like they will uh, make a very, very risky decision. I feel like they will be weighing their pros and cons, that I was saying. So Ace of Cups, I feel like uh, your soulmate is someone that is really following their intuition. Because if they make up their mind about something, they're already sticking into it. Nine of Wands is also a person that when they set the goal, when they say that they will do something, they finish it. It's not like they only talk, you know, they always, uh, the action always follows. But yeah, Ace of Cups, it's someone that is really loving, someone that is giving a lot of love to other people, a lot of affection, making people feel very comfortable around them, uplifting people, sharing the love, sharing the emotions. I feel like they are very open about the way they feel. Uh, they will be expressing their love to you very often. I feel like they even like the public display of emotions. Not everyone does, but this person really likes that. So they might be kissing you in a public place or just hugging you all the time, always holding your hand. Um, yeah, they're like very charming, you know, Ace of Cups people are, are super sweet. They're like sweethearts. They're just very romantic as well and forgiving. And with the Ace of Cups, I also get the feelings that they love themselves as well a lot. All right, I was saying that they will express emotions publicly. I actually got express your love this card and it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture i definitely see they will be making a lot of romantic gestures um and also this could be the one obviously it's a soulmate but this is just another confirmation um that this person is your soulmate they could be the one they could be your future spouse it also says you've already met the romantic partner you seek so if these personality traits are fitting someone that you know, you know, someone from your life right now, maybe, maybe they are the one for you because it says that, you know, you've already met them. That's just a message for some of you. All right. So let's move on. What else? So we talked about the sacrifice. I feel like they are willing also to sacrifice a lot for you. Freedom. This gives me the vibes of Sagittarius, but we will check obviously the zodiac signs in a second. But freedom, yes, your, your person is very spontaneous, they're free spirits, they're dreamers, independence, self-determination. They're definitely very independent with the nine of wands. I get the same feelings, but there's a lot of fiery energy. I honestly feel like your person might uh, be some fire sign. It might be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or they just could have a lot of fire in their chart, but we will definitely check that in a second. So yeah, they're very independent. I feel like uh, they have a lot of leadership qualities. So what else do we have? All right, we have an Arrage. <laughs> okay, clock time in a rush. So how do I feel about this card? Hmm. I feel like they might be feeling a little bit pressured by the people that are surrounding them. Maybe it's their family, maybe it's their friends, uh, but they might be feeling a little bit pressured because as I said, a lot of people are boasting about them. Their family just sees them as a very, very perfect people. I think that's just something that the Spirit wanted me to tell you, that they might be feeling a little bit pressured. And that's something that maybe you could feel as well once uh, you guys will be together because it's your soulmate. And I really feel like you will, you know. <laughs> All right, what else? You are rare and free. Definitely, they are very unique. It's a very unique person. There are not many like you. There are not many people like your soulmate, like the person for you. They are very special and unique. So let's check their zodiac sign and then we're going to check the um, initials. 
initials. I forgot the word. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, there are also some different cards here, not only zodiac signs, uh, but let's see. So what is the zodiac sign universe for the group number one for their soulmate? What is their soulmate's zodiac sign or whatever they have in the chart? Uh, let us know. Potential zodiac sign for... What was I saying? <laughs> Fire, Leo. Your person might be Leo. All right, this is not a zodiac sign, so I'll just put this back, guys. Your person might be a Leo. Give us uh, one or two more potential zodiac signs. What else do we have? Okay, we have Capricorn. So definitely that also fits because six of ones uh, and nine of ones are people that are very hardworking as well. So Capricorns are very stable. They are very hardworking. That makes sense. Capricorn, Leo, give us one more zodiac sign for the group number one. One more sign for the group number one. All right, guys, so we also have Gemini. So your person might be a Gemini. They're great communicators and they're great leaders in general. A very convincing, very convincing talkers. Um, let's see what will be, we will, we will take, um, we'll get a couple of letters for your potential soulmate. So let's see, because this is a general reading, keep that guys in mind. So I'm gonna pull couple. Uh, so I pulled T, D, T, Y. So let me just put this here. Maybe if I put it here, can you guys see it? T, D, Y. For group number one. Give me something for group number one. Your soulmate initials. Okay, let's take this. All right, that's a lot. Yeah, that's enough. I'll put this back. Hashtag. All right, guys. I W L. If you can see it, F. It's really small. F L P and W and I. So what we got T Y L D F P W and I. All right guys, so that's all that I got for you. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. It really helps me out a lot. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe. I upload twice a week, so I'm very, very active on this channel and uh, it helps our channel so, so much. If you would like to go more in depth and if you would like me to focus on your energy and your struggles or anything that, any question that you have on your mind, you can book a private reading with me. The link will be in the description box. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope to see you next time and have a great day. Bye. Hi, group number two. Let's find out who is your soulmate. You guys chose this card. Happiness is my birth. Right, let's see what else we have here. All right, guys, so make sure to stay till the end of this reading. So we will be pulling the zodiac signs and also the initials for your soulmate. All right, so what do we got? Let's start with a king of swords. So king of swords, this person is a person that has a very um, analytical mind. He's all about self-discipline. He's all about structure, mind over matter and head over heart, uh, which means I feel like this person will not be willing so much to show uh, their emotions publicly. Like I'm not saying they're not going to like hold your hand. It's like they just are not going to feel the need to maybe take millions of selfies that you guys are in love just to show other people that you're in love and post it on the social media, etc. They really will cherish the fact that you guys um, are spending time together privately. And it's not like they will not say that they're in a relationship, but they just don't need to be really saying it out loud all the time and they don't have a need to show it to other people that they're that you guys are so madly in love this person is a really deep thinker and this makes me uh think about gemini or a libra i feel like this person is just really really honest they are really true uh to themselves and to other people around them 
this person is full of ideas and I also are very very fair so I feel like this person is a person that other people would come for mentoring for an advice because they know that they can um, count on them and they can trust them with their judgment they are very good judges because very often they stay uh, on the side they don't like to get into drama all right so page of pentacles Ooh, so your person is someone that is really someone that really really loves to learn um i'm always i'm also getting this vibe from eight of wands uh these two cards they just tell me that your person is someone that really enjoys learning really enjoys learning new skills they always want to improve themselves they always work on themselves they always want to just learn uh, about different cultures travel this is also another big theme here but we will talk about it in a second they are very responsible they are very hardworking, really organized so this person might be also moving quite slowly in their career or in general in their life but it's because they're weighing all the pros and cons they are perfectionist i honestly feel like your person your soulmate is a perfectionist they also love nature i'm getting it from this card and looking at all the colors here they love nature they love uh, spending time outside uh, as i was saying they love to travel um they love to get to know new people they just get they just love getting to know other people other cultures i feel like they also might be speaking uh, another language i also feel that your person is all about quality over quantity so for example if they're buying new clothes they will um spend a little bit more on something that has a better quality that can last them for a long time even though it might not be so trendy i feel like th your person does not really care about what is trendy what is not trendy also they don't really care much about social media like maybe they are on social media but they don't really care much about you know posting selfies or posting pictures um showing other people what they're doing etc so i see guys that um when you meet your soulmate they will really really help you out to get out of depression or get out of stress you might be you might meet that person during very stressful time in your life because i always get i also why do i say always instead of also uh, i also get stay optimistic about your love life um positive thinking and fate will bring you romance and then we have romantic feelings so definitely and we have falling in love <laughs> all the beautiful cards um uh, i definitely see that they will help you to go through some depression they will make you uh they will help you to feel more optimistic about your life and about everything around you i feel like they will change you but in a good way they they might just show you um the world from different perspective from uh, an angle that you have not been looking uh through at life or at everything at um uh, whatever you'll be struggling with i feel like they will change you somehow but in a positive way they will help you they will guide you they will mentor you as i was saying they're mentors um there are people that other people are come going to for an advice i feel like they are very grounded i get it with lemuria with this beautiful card and page of pentacles as i was saying your person might really really like nature uh traveling um viewing other parts of the world uh, they're very grounded and you might really count on them i'm i'm getting the feelings here that you will be able to 100 percent trust them and count on them and then you guys well as i was saying they don't like public display of emotions but they you might actually change them as well now i'm thinking about that change in the night that might not all only be you that will be changed while you guys once you guys meet but maybe they will fall in love with you so deeply that you will also change their perspective i feel like you guys will be balancing completing each other 
All right, so let me just uh, go and check their zodiac sign and then we're gonna check their initial. So this is potential zodiac sign, keep in mind that could be in their chart. This is for a lot of people, uh, so please keep that in mind. So what is the zodiac sign for the group number two? All right, okay guys, we got Aries. So your person might be Aries, okay? Yeah, I get that, with the eight of wands, your person might be Aries. Very action-oriented, yes, okay? So, zodiac sign for group number two, please. Aries. Aries twice, just saying. I'm gonna pull one more. We got Aries Pies. Okay, so what's the Zodiac sign for group number two? This one really wanted to pop out. Nope. All right, sorry. That was just not a Zodiac sign uh, because we also have like different cards here, not only signs. What is the Zodiac sign for group number two, Universe? What is the Zodiac sign for group number two? All right, I also got Sagittarius. So yes, travel, learning new skills really really enjoying learning new things so a lot of fire guys a lot i'm gonna pull one more because we got aries twice one more last one for group number two the zodiac sign of the person zodiac sign of the person all right guys so we got virgo okay you're a virgo so perfectionist okay as i was saying your person your perfectionist uh virgo is very uh, analytical as well so let's pull the initial. So Virgo, ooh, the cards are getting messy, guys. Just, let's just not mind it. So we have Virgo, Aries twice, and Sagittarius. So give us the initials. I'm gonna pull a um, couple <laughs> because this is a general reading. So this is for a lot of people. So the initials for group number two, universe. Let me know the initials for group number two. And we got kiss, a kiss. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I know this is quite small, but I'm gonna let you know. So this is C, we got I, I see, I see the initials for a group. There we go, that's enough for group number two. Y, we got J, we got E, we got P, P, N and T and T and W W T and E T J I Y C. So these might be initials for your of your soulmate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. It really helps me out a lot to grow this channel and subscribe if you haven't yet as i go um no go live but i upload twice a week and go live on twitch if you want to hang out with me there's a link in the description box also if you would like to book a private reading with me where we focus on your specific energy your specific issues and struggles the link is also in the description box Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out one of my previous readings to maybe find out about your future spouse or check out any different video. As I said, a link will be here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day. Take care. Hi, group number three. Let's find out who is your soulmate. Uh, so you guys chose this beautiful card. My vibes speak louder than my words. Let's see what else we have here. All right, guys. So whew, let's start here because that could be a T. All right. That's a message for some of you. Just keep that in mind that this is a general reading. So take what resonates. However, I have to say that I'm getting feelings that this could be your ex like or someone that you know, uh, someone that been in your life for a while or someone from your past. Um, because I got the reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. So that could be it. And there we have a retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So I see that your soulmate is a someone that you've, you have either disconnecting with 
from the world already or you will it's someone that will really want to spend time alone with you someone that will really cherish cherish that time that they will spend on your own with you all right so i also get a feeling that this could be someone from your past because i'm looking at the moon uh but let's see what we have here and you guys will figure this out if it's someone from your past or not so we have the chariot so the first card the chariot the person uh chariot is a person is someone that is willing to put a lot of work in um in order to succeed they're very driven they're very motivated uh to reach their goals they work hard to get where they want i feel like they are very fearless and they accomplish whatever they set their mind to they're very often uh kind of faking it till making it with a three of wands i'm getting the feelings here that it's a it's a person that has a deep desire for future success but also they make really big plans for the future they are very excited about the future they're also very excited about traveling they like to travel to different places outside of their of their country they also might be speaking a different language or learning a different language or they might be a foreigner they might be also just coming from a different country so two of wands this is someone that will conquer their dreams this is someone that is willing to take the risk they are not afraid uh, of taking the risks this is the leader with a vision big vision for the future they're not afraid of taking a charge in, of the situation they are very confident courageous convincing a lot of people uh, really listen to them and they are not afraid of a conflict like if they need to get somewhere they really will like they will do everything that they can to get to their dreams to their goals to whatever they set their mind to they're definitely taking an action because you know a lot of people are just talking about doing something they are talking about it but they also will do it the moon tells me that the person your soulmate is really mysterious this gives me the vibes also of uh, Scorpio uh, I also get that with beauty card just looking at her she reminds me of a Scorpio but that's just my what my intuition is saying uh, we will check the zodiac signs in a second but this is someone that even though they they might be having some stress anxiety some fears I feel like they're willing to step out of their comfort zone and they're really brave they're really courageous they are uh, are not afraid of taking a charge of a situation and uh, as I was saying they're fearless you know everyone has some sort of fears I just do see with this moon card that they are really willing to fight them that they're not letting their fears to control uh, their reality and with the moon also I see that your person might be really spiritual they might be psychic they, they might just trust their intuition a lot and I'm also getting here that they might have this kind of little bit darker side of them. Doesn't have to mean negative. It's just I feel like they might appear to have two personalities. And I just got it now by looking at the beauty and the si song of the siren. Just looking at the contrast. Um, beauty, you know, all dark and here it's all white because there is some mysterious vibe as well about the moon uh card about the moon person so they might be appearing to be really complex and really dark and mysterious but once you get to know them you see this um angelic side of them this really joyful this really loving and warm side of them oh okay so what else do we have set your course such a curious dream okay set your course so i was as i was saying they are very excited about the future they're excited about planning things um about the future about the goals setting a lot of goals maybe uh, thinking about family etc they're really excited um, about just having a plan and they're having big dreams and they're willing to follow them they're willing to take an action so I do see also with a such a curious dream that they are dreamers and sometimes uh, you or someone else has to you will have to or someone else has to 
take them back into reality because they often lose themselves in the fantasies. And、uh, they need to be grounded by someone else. They have to be reminded that hey, we're here in the present and not all the time in the future. You know, you that person could get kind of lost in、um, in dreams about the future and plans about the future. Sometimes they need to be reminded that you know we are living in the now. All right, so、uh, let's see what zodiac signs we have for your person for group number three. So what are the zodiac signs? For my group number three, just keep that in mind. This is for a lot of people, so I'll pull couple, and、uh, yeah, they could just have that in their chart somewhere. So, what is the zodiac sign here for the group number three? What do we have? All right, so we have Taurus. Yes, and Taurus love to make plans. They love to have.、Uh, Everything planned out, you know. They love to have a plan B, plan C, plan D. If something doesn't work out, <laughs> so that's why they might be like very in the in the head, you know, just spending a lot of time daydreaming and fantasizing. But Taurus people are very stable. They are very、uh, loyal friends and very loyal partners, and and they always want to like succeed in life. They want to move on. They want to. Move forward in life, and I definitely see that also with the chariot and all the other cards here. So that definitely makes sense.、Um, so who is okay? So give us more zodiac signs for group number three, please, universe. These two, okay. So let's go. Okay, Pisces. Yes, there is definitely the sensitive side of them. As I was saying, guys, they might they might look to other people a little bit very complex. Um, but they do have this very emotional side、uh, of them、uh, that probably not everyone gets to see, but obviously you will. <laughs> all right, what else?、Uh, we have Aries. So yeah, all right. So we have Aries, Taurus, and Pisces, and that makes sense.、Uh, so keep that in mind. They could have these three in their chart somewhere. But this is a really cool mix. So just to show you. All right, guys. So now we're gonna pull the initials. Let's see your person's initials, please.、Uh, just keep in mind, as I was saying, this is a general reading, so I'm gonna be pulling couple because a lot of people will be watching this. So, what are the initials for the group number three, Spirit? Please let me know what are the initials for the group number three. I'll pull a couple more initials for the group number. Three. Oops. Okay. All right. It's what do we have? I hope you will see it.、Uh, Z M. This is T. We have M again. We have D, and we have T again. Okay. T D M Z A T and M. Yeah, I was just wondering, maybe it's a W, but it's an M. So I'm gonna pull a little bit more. Group number three. Group number three. Guess <laughs> we got T again. <laughs> we got L this time, and X. Okay, maybe it's your X. <laughs> and Z. Z twice, T twice. M twice, then oh god, T actually three times. So that's a really strong message here. T, M. Keep that in mind. Also D and Z and L <laughs> and Z twice. All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot to grow this channel. Also, subscribe if you are new and you enjoyed it. As I upload twice a week, so I'm very active here. I also go live on Twitch during Tara Live. The link is in the description box if you want to hang out with me and meet more like-minded people. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, where we focus on your specific energy, your specific struggles or issues, whatever you want to ask, the link is also in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Make sure to check out one of my previous videos, and I'll see you. Take care. Bye.
Hi group number four, let's find out who is your soulmate. So you guys chose this card. I choose love no matter what. Let's see what else we have here. All right, group number four. So make sure to stay till the end as we will be pulling the zodiac signs and also initials for your person, for your soulmate. So let's see what do we have. Let's start with a uh, knight of swords. So knight of swords is someone that is really quick. They are very intelligent. Um, they focus on mind over matter, head over the heart. They're very assertive. They are very quick with it, very rebellious. They're very ambitious. They are very determined to get things done. They're very focused on, on whatever they are doing. They are willing to take the risks. They're not afraid to take the risks. They are the people that are kind of going against the flow and they are still having these uh, really great leadership qualities. They're very talkative and love debating. So you will find yourself uh, very often involved in very passionate, heated conversations with this person. They're like super, super talkative. And they're also very, very much in their head. They're always like thinking about so many things um, and sometimes they don't really share it with others, uh, what they're thinking about. It's just because they are very philosophical. <laughs> All right, so what else do we have? We have Knight of Pentacles. And this person is really stable. They are building the stability for their future. They're building the foundation for their family. They are definitely people that you can trust a lot. I got the trust card here as well. So I definitely see that this will be a person, your soulmate is a person that you will trust 100%. I also got, it is safe for you to love. So I'm getting the vibes here guys as well. Also with the five of, of pentacles that this person will be someone that, as I was saying, you will trust 100% because I do see that you've been having struggles trusting other people or trusting someone 100% in your relationship. Maybe you've got hurt before, but I also get with the five of pentacles, it gives me the vibes that your person will be very caring. That person will be very defensive. That person will care about you so, so deeply and they will always try to comfort you if you will need it. They will always check on you uh, just to see how you're doing. They will make sure that you are fine, that you're doing good. They will be there for you whenever you will need them. They are very responsible. They are very loyal. They are very affectionate, defensive, very defensive, as I was saying, very protective, very understanding. That person will be very patient with you and <laughs> with everything uh, that is in their life. They have the patience. They have the resilience. I feel like that person is very reliable. I also feel like this person will really want to get to know you first very deeply on a very deep level before you actually will start dating or like you will actually get into the relationship because that's the Knight of Pentacles vibes here. He's really taking his time, whatever he's doing, he's taking his time to make sure that everything uh, is perfect. Um, in order to move on, he needs to check he needs to like double check everything because I also feel like this person doesn't really like the change that much or maybe it's not like they don't like the change but it doesn't come to them very easily they don't very easily make a decision to change up something but I do see that they are very grounded as well very kind and understanding and, and also that family means a lot to them that they are really looking for someone to build a stable very stable family with to be in a very long-term relationship that's why they're you know taking their time to get to know people to get to know their their future partners and I feel like it will be the same with you once you meet I also uh, see with the re reflection card uh, that they somehow see themselves in you. Maybe you guys have the same personality traits. You might be doing um, some artistic work that is very similar. You might have some same some some similar skills, etc. They somehow see themselves in you. 
or you also, you know, you might see yourself in them. That's why you guys are soulmates. All right, so what else do we have? We have honored masculine. So I do see with this card, ooh, <laughs> so nice. I do see that your person is very masculine. They they might have a lot of muscles or um, just the way they dress, they, the way they behave. They are very masculine. They're very protective, as I was saying. They will take care of you. They respect women a lot. They have great manners. Um, they're very patient. They are very reliable. All right. All right, so what else? Manage to be glad, create your own happiness regardless of conditions. So I definitely see that this person, did I say that they don't like, uh, they, they like routines, they don't, yeah, I did say that, I think. Anyways, so it just feels that um, it doesn't matter if you guys are going through ups or downs, they're always going to be there with you. They're always going to stand by your side and make sure that everything will be working out, that everything will be fixed. Uh, but also, even if they go through a rougher time in their life, they always try and they do find something positive about their day. They're looking at smaller things in life that make them happy, not only big things. They are able to create happiness out of nothing. What I mean is that they don't need a lot to make themselves happy. They don't need to have like a fancy car. They don't need to be in a relationship. They are definitely not going to be like depending on someone. Definitely not. I do see that they are very independent. And I feel like this is one of the things that they will also teach you to be more independent, to be more self-sufficient, just in case if it's needed. I feel like this person will teach you a lot. All right, so we also are going to check the zodiac signs. So let's see. Please, guys, keep in mind this is a general reading, so that's for a lot of people. That's why I'm going to pull a couple of zodiac signs and also a couple of the initials. Um, so yeah, take what resonates and please stay open-minded as you are. So let's see. So. Group number four, zodiac signs for group number four. Tell us what would be the zodiac signs for group number four. Do we get anything here? Nope. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but there are also like uh, cards with no zodiac signs on it, so I'm gonna just shuffle. So give us some zodiac signs for group number four, please, universe. Cancer! Oh my god, that makes so much sense. And he says, and it says you and your loved ones are safe. Yes, I get that with the Ten of Cups. I didn't show it to you. But the Ten of Cups card, family, it's all about family, it's all about stability, it's all about the trust. Um, yeah, so that makes total sense with the cancer here. Let's see. For group number four, okay, all right, Taurus, also Taurus, really reliable, really stable, stability, grounded, ooh, okay, all right, so one more for group number four, is this a zodiac sign? No, <laughs> one more for group number four, please, one more for group number four, I can't shuffle, guys. Aquarius! Alright, so we also have Aquarius and Aquarius people are very unique. They're very different. Um, they're very also artistic, optimistic. They love music, they love art. Alright, so just keep that in mind guys. Aquarius, Taurus or Cancer, they might have that in their chart as well. So let's see their initials, the, the initials for the group number four. What are the initials of the group number four? I'm going to pull a couple more, guys. Let's pull a couple more. Okay, that's enough. So what do we have? We have E. I, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see this, uh, but that's E. Then we have O. We have W. Is that an M? No. W. We have T, we have P, we have J, L, Y, and N. And why 
L-J-P-T-W-O-M-E. So these are the initials of your soulmate. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave the like because uh, it really helps out my channel so much to grow. And subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm very active here. I upload twice a week. I also go live doing tarot on Twitch. So if you want to hang out with me, the link is in the description box. And I do offer private readings. So if you would like to me to focus on your specific issues, on your specific energies, you have any struggles or any questions, the link is in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out one of my previous readings and I see you guys next time. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye.